What's up everybody? Today is a great day because firmware 16 for the Axe FX is out. Cygnus. We're gonna get down with the Cygnus. That joke's gonna get old quick. If you're unaware of what Cygnus is, it's a complete revamping of the Axe FX modeling software technology. I made a video comparing the Ares firmware to the beta version of Cygnus, but now we are officially on Cygnus. Feels good, man. <laughs> And what better way to check out the new firmware than by building a patch from scratch? I was not intentionally making that rhyme, it just kind of happened. All right, let's do this. So we've got an amp and a cab here, and I am just going to preemptively go into the cab section and put on this OG Mesa 4x12IR. And let's go into the amp section and pick an amp. So right now that is the Ingle Savage, but I want to go with something a little bit different here. I want to go with the Fryat D60 more. This is an amp that I really, really enjoy and stock. It sounds like this. Nothing really insane going on there. Let's Let's bump up the depth and let's pull back this presence a little bit. And we're not really getting into high gain territory there, so let's boost the input drive. Still not there, let's boost this overdrive. Let's EQ it a little bit too. It could probably cut some of this low end out. On a lot of these amps, I really like boosting up the depth and cutting out the bass a little bit. It's like a personal thing, I guess. And not the highest gain amp ever. I mean, I have this input and the overdrive up quite a bit and we're still not getting it quite into high gain there. So let's go into the preamp section and I'm gonna put on the 808 mod, and boost that and turn it all the way up. That's about where I like it. The thing that I really like about this amp is that if you push it, you can definitely get it into modern metal, high gain territory, but it still really retains a lot of that clarity and note separation. And uh, it's just a really cool sounding amplifier. Let's go into the power amp section here and you can see that it comes with KT88s. And I'm gonna turn this negative feedback down a little bit. <laughs> It just helps tighten it up a little bit there. You know, especially if you're into that chugga chugga music. You can hear some of the harmonic overtones there too.
really like this amplifier a lot. I do not see this amplifier getting enough love. If you own an Axe FX, definitely check that one out if you haven't already. Let's go and do something a little bit different. Uh, okay, let's do another one here. Now, another thing that I think is criminally underrated are these fractal models. Like, let's check out the FAS Modern. Modern 3. Why not, right? <laughs> Let's throw a grinder on this guy and maybe put that at about 16 and a half decibels. Not bad. Not really what I'm going for though. Let's try one more amp with the new Cygnus version 16 software. Maybe let's try the Orange Modern. Pull out some bass. Cut that presence a little bit. Turn the master up. A lot of low end in there. And you can really hear that loosen up when I turn up that master volume just a little bit. Uh, let's go into the preamp section and let's hit the front of this. Uh, maybe a grinder. Let's hit the front of it at 18 and a half decibels. <laughs> Good old dual rectifier tone right there. And this is really improved, to my ears at least, from the Ares firmware. And what's improved about it to me is just the character of the gain. If you read through the firmware notes, there's a lot to do with like gain texture. And they were really trying to make the texture of the gain more similar to the amps and sound less digital and harsh. And in this case, I'd say they totally achieved that goal. I just got done listening to the new Cannibal Corpse album and I love the guitar tone on that album. So let's try and dial in something similar to that. This is an LTD MH300 and it has an EMG81 in the bridge. <laughs> I 
And I think this is actually probably a pretty good starting point for that tone. So I watched this video a while back with Eric Rutan and he's talking about his tone, uh, not for the Cannibal Corpse album per se, but for Hate Eternal. And he was talking about how he used a dual rectifier in conjunction with the JCM 800. And kind of what I got from that video is he uses the dual rectifier for sort of like the grittiness and nastiness of the tone. And then he uses the JCM 800 for the clarity and the punchiness. So we're gonna start off with the dual rectifier here. I just made some slight adjustments. <laughs> I'd say we're already pretty nasty on that one here. Okay, now, so what I wanna do here is I wanna go out and in over here and then go out and into the cabinet. So I have sort of a dual amp thing going on here. And then in amp two, let's load up the JCM 800 and let's go with the Brit 800 mod instead of just the plain JCM 800. <laughs> God, we're already getting pretty close just by loading that thing up. Um, let's dial out a little bit of the bass, turn up the mid and the treble. Bring down the master a little bit. We're getting pretty close there. I'm gonna turn the input drive down a hair. I'm gonna turn the mids and the treble up just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna hit the front of this with the T808 mod. No, I'm not. <laughs> we'll go to the T808. And then just for comparison, let's uh, turn that off. So that is just the dual rectifier and this is what happens when we add that 800 in there. I think probably the 800 is just a bit too loud. What gets me about Cygnus is exactly what they say in the firmware, the texture of the gain, especially combining two amps like that. Man, it just sounds really cool. And I love running two amps like that. And I would not be surprised if that was the technique he used on the new Cannibal Corpse album, because it does sound sort of similar to my ears at least. All right, so what do you guys think of the new Cygnus software? Is it an improvement over the pre-existing Aerie software? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, special thanks to all my awesome patrons for helping me bring you videos like this one. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon, there's a link for that in the description below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, take care.